this video we will see about 2d transformation translation okay transformation means changing or repositioning or altering some graphics into something else by applying rules it plays a major role in graphics some types of transformation are translation rotation scaling shearing reflection and so on today we will see translation here translation here uh, we will uh, use two formulas here x dash y dash x dash equal to x plus tx and uh, y dash equal to y plus ty tx ty are translation vector in matrix form if we uh, write the same equation we can write like this the old points plus trans, uh, translation vector will give the new point that is for example let's consider these points 0 0 2 0 0 2 2 2 and the given translation vector tx equal to 2 and ty equal to 3 okay by using these uh, coordinates we can plot this thing we will get the original figure like this it's a square um, if we substitute uh, these values in the formula for all the coordinates 0 0 um, for one thing I will tell x dash equal to 0 plus 2 0 is this thing x value plus 2 tx tx value so 0 plus 2 equal to 2 similarly y dash equal to y coordinate 0 plus translation vector 3 so by applying in this formula we will be getting the new coordinates as 2 comma 3 for 0 0 similarly for 2 0 we get like uh, this point 4 comma 3 and for 0 2 2 5 and 2 2 uh, 4 comma 5 so uh, now if we plot these points we will be getting a object like this or a figure like this here this uh, original object is being translated to another position okay uh, and uh, this is the concept behind translation uh, now we will see rotation here in rotation we rotate the object at particular angle theta from its origin either clockwise or anti-clockwise for better understanding we will see an example the points given are 0 0 1 0 and 1 1 this is a triangle with angle theta given so it's a corresponding diagram will be like this and uh, since we need to do anti-clockwise its motion will be like this from this direction to this direction okay so we will start with the formula x dash y dash equal to cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta into x y is the old coordinate and uh, when we multiply with this rotation matrix we will be getting the new coordinates okay already we, uh, we know uh, the value for cos theta is 0 minus sin theta is minus 1 sin theta uh, sin 90 is 1 and uh, cos 90 is 0 uh, here we will see this thing Mm, 0 30 45 60 90 for sin and cos this will be the value 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 and 1 for cos 1 root 3 by 2 1 by 2 1 by root 2 1 by 2 and 0 okay from these values we are uh, uh, getting and applying here okay so um, uh, by multiplying this we will be getting we will uh, be getting 0 0 here since it is uh, the older value is 0 here similarly we are applying for the next coordinates 1 0 uh, when we apply in this formula we will be getting a value as 0 1 for, as the second coordinates and for the third one 1 1 applying through the same formula we will be getting minus 1 1 so uh, the new values are 0 0 0 1 minus 1 comma 1 so we are plotting and the new rotated uh, figure is this thing okay next one we will see and uh, clockwise okay here um, we will take the same problem in clockwise direction rotation clockwise means from here to this side um, okay same diagram same diagram means this original diagram okay but in uh, now the rotation will be in clockwise direction okay formula is little changing the sign is changing in sin theta 
otherwise other thing are same okay the same uh, apply the same logic we are uh, substituting the values for the given coordinates 0 0 1 0 and 1 1 and uh, after uh, um, multiplying matrix multiplication we are getting the points as 0 0 0 minus 1 minus um, 1 minus 1 so it falls in this quadrant and the triangle will be in this shape okay that's all about rotation now we will see scaling scaling means altering the size of the object either increase or decrease here we will use two scaling factors sx and sy the formula is uh, more or less similar to translation but there we use plus and here we use uh, into multiplication symbol okay others are same uh, given values four values they have four coordinates they have given and with the sx and sy equal to 2 and 3 scaling factors for x coordinate and y coordinate now we need to apply these values in this formula so please note this formula and uh, we are just substituting in this uh, either in matrix form or in this formula itself uh, that is not at all a problem here uh, I have considered this thing x dash equal to x into sx x the first coordinate let, let us take for the first thing x and y 0 into 2 0 into th uh, 3 so 0 comma 0 this will be the first thing and uh, for the uh, given coordinates I have drawn this diagram and it is a square similarly uh, we need to consider for uh, find for the other uh, three coordinates see here x dash equal to 2 into 2 that is, this is the scaling factor x and scaling factor for y and uh, by substituting these values here we are getting 4 0 similarly for 0 2 0 6 2 2 we are getting 4 6 so the square original diagram is a square and it has become a rectangle here after scaling so here the size of the object is increased but if yes x x and s y is same for example 2 and 2 like that the scaling will be uniform 